a tough one. That's, yeah. that's one of those tough, tough questions to answer. Um, so we're coming down to like kind of the final two questions. Um, I just want to let you know that this has been really, really insightful. I really enjoyed uh, a lot of the, the content we've um, created here. Um, so what is the most important lesson or piece of advice that you would give to an aspiring young leader in terms of the, the lessons that, that you've learned? The best advice that I was given was to embrace failure. That doesn't mean to run around and just take chances and, uh, and constantly make mistakes, but to not be in such resistance to failure that you don't take chances. And because of that, even as an organization, we encourage one another to not just think outside the box, let's think there is no box. What are some of the solutions that we can create? And that's how we've been able to come up with some of these innovative partnerships and these programs like the drone program, or using satellite imagery, things that NGOs have traditionally never done before. And because of that, we're, we're paving a way and almost giving permission to other organizations to do something different than the NGO community have been doing the past three, four decades. Perfect. And final question, um, philosophical question. Why do you do what you do? I have two, you know, compelling things that really drive uh, why I do what I do. One, um, you know, my main motivation, what compels me to do this work is gratitude. The way that I express gratitude is through service because I would not be here. I look at my parents, my family, they wouldn't be here with, without the help of a stranger. Um, also, I'm born and raised in the United States. I'm a proud American and I uh, don't spend a lot of time in the States because of this work. We travel all over the world to some of the poorest, most desperate places in the world, and it makes you even more grateful for the freedoms that were afforded here and the opportunities that were afforded here. And when I, when I look at a child, maybe my daughter's age, maybe I, I meet a young child internationally and I think, who is that person behind the scenes taking a stand for my life? Where would I be? Would I be here today were it not for that person? and you want to be a part of this work. And I think that's the fabric of who we are as a nation, is to stand for what's right, and to be a beacon of hope, and to serve. And in the end, that's what's made our country so strong. Um, you know, when we think of the pragmatic reasons, we think of national security, winning hearts and minds, and all of those things. At the end of the day, we are all living one lifetime. I really don't think uh, we want it to be wasted creating barriers for one another. And so I hope that this kind of work allows us just another opportunity to connect with one another and acknowledge this shared humanity that we have. Great. Perfect.